Hello to all of you. Um, sitting in front of me is the lake. Let me show you all the lake first before we go into our teachings. Beautiful lake. See, if I turn this way, I think the sun's, yeah, the sun kind of hides me. So, the sun is setting right now. We are still dealing with Hurricane Milton. I wanted to take this time to reflect on being thankful and being grateful to the linemen. You see electricity uh, lines behind me? So the linemen are the people who are in charge of the electricity circuits and and those transformers. And they're the one that was dispatched from all over Florida and from other states coming down to help restore electricity. Additionally, I consider them first responders in cases of hurricane. Additionally, for all of the ambulance workers, fire, police officers, the police officers would escort them. And the role that each, every single one of them played, um, Hurricane Helene, comma, Hurricane Milton, and another one on the way here. I'm so grateful. I am so grateful. We are all so grateful. We are all thankful. I am so thankful for the work that they are doing, have done selflessly, risking electrocutions. Look at some of the down power lines that we witness here in St. Pete. Um, just so much grave danger, putting themselves in danger. I mean, look at the trees over there, you know, and the risk of branches um, breaking off, falling on top of them with the hard hats that they wear. The police officers getting into their cars, rushing, helping with the gasoline situation. How beautiful. We, all of them come together to help us. And that we don't appreciate and we don't show that appreciation. We don't express that appreciation enough for all of our first responders out there. Right? And we're sitting at home praying. Somebody please get to this so that, you know, I have air, electricity, air conditioning. Some of the first world problems access to food, water, electricity, the comfort that we take for granted until it's not there anymore. And and just not having lights around the house in the entire block as I surveyed leads to the possibility of crime, the opportunity for crime happening. And I just wanted to take this time to reflect what a beautiful sight what a beautiful day to reflect and quickly and when we see them police officers anyone that wears uniforms of first responder look they're still going look they're still at it right over there with all the lights blinking wow to say thank you it doesn't hurt to say thank you it doesn't cost a thing to stop one of these guys or to approach them with a smile and say thank you so much we are ever forget we are forever grateful for what you are doing and what you have done for us through this hurricane. So I just wanted to address this to all of my fellow Floridians and people who are affected um, by Hurricane Helene, Milton, and more to come to, you know, really give them that encouragement, that gratefulness. Uh, they can use it because everybody hates the police until you need them. You know, and everybody else who is first responder, we don't ever think about them. We're not thoughtful. And it's time for us to be more thoughtful and to express that thoughtfulness when we encounter them human to human. It will mean a whole world to them. Waking up in the morning realizing that I made a difference today and these are the people that comes up to me and said thank you. I know how it feels because as a Buddhist monk, I teach people how to achieve peace, um, to let go of negative acquired emotions, let go of negative acquired bad habits and some of the emails and messages that I received was very encouraging and it keeps me continuing to wear the uniform that I wear and continuing serving the people. And you know, I think that our first responders can use that, especially before the hurricane hit, the climate against the, our views against law enforcement and other first responders was skewed it was not seeing things as they are indeed 
the departments around the world and all departments and institutions are trying to fix what's going on. I don't take sides. I hold people responsible for what they do. But in this moment right now, with everything that's going on, we are dependent on them. And let us come together as a community and say how grateful we are uh, to all of them. Every single one of them. Thank you so much. May you all be well, be happy, be free, and always be healthy. And always be kindful, be grateful, and be thankful, and be thoughtful to everyone around you. You never know what they're dealing with every single day. Take care.